yes, there are pros and cons of their action. I'm very much out of my wheelchair. I want to have a more expansive feeling. It's harder to, when you're in your chair, there's more spinal compression. That's part of why they say um, sitting is the new smoking, which is not good news if you get around in a wheelchair. So the idea of spaciousness and openness is better achieved out of the wheelchair. Also being able to move your body, like taking your arms and legs wide or your legs wide. I remember the first time I worked with my yoga teacher, I, she got me out of the wheelchair, which is a big thing. And then she had to take my legs wide. It's called Upa Vista Kanasana, if you know the yoga pose. And I remember it was, I was 25. I hadn't I had been injured when I was 13. I realized I hadn't had my legs wide in 12 years. And the fact is, not just if you're an athlete, it's your birthright to live in your whole body, right? And so getting out of the chair is good. There are a lot of things that can be done in the wheelchair, especially if getting out of your wheelchair isn't as easy to do. You can do yoga in bed, especially if your bed isn't super soft, right? Um, you can, but the, 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 the getting out of your chair is really important if you need to learn how to integrate the sensation of relief and support into action. But I'm telling you, you can do a lot in your chair. Like since, since the virus that shall not be named has got a lot of us at home, we're teaching all of our classes at Mind Body Solutions online and we're keeping them all in a chair. And there's a lot of things you can do and, there's a, and they're, they're very powerful and there's something lost too. So the, ideally you have a practice that includes both in your chair and out of your chair. Mm -hmm.